and many people living in Hugo received level three go evacuation notices last night. Some are now staying at an emergency shelter at the Josephine County Fairgrounds. Newswatch 12's Andreana Shepard spoke with one family who says this experience is something they'll forget. Staying at a Red Cross shelter is the last thing the Cartwrights thought they'd be doing on their long Labor Day weekend. Now they just await for that notice that they can go home. Thank you. Wilbur and Shirley Cartwright were going to spend this Labor Day weekend around the barbecue surrounded by family. They can really smell it now. I can even feel it. The Hugo Road fire had other plans. We went out to the bush and we saw the smoke that was up the canyon from us. And we were watching it burn and it burned up the ridge above us and we could see the trees catching on fire and things. The fire got closer and closer to the Cartwrights' home on Monterico Road. Ten minutes later, law enforcement knocked on their door and urged them to evacuate. I'm not leaving. That's my wife said, I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not evacuating. how close the fire was, she was glad she did. <laughs> Shortly after, the couple changed their minds, and they're happy they did. As soon as they turned the corner from their road, they saw this. The fire was beginning to block their only way out. It was kind of scary because it was very close. And we had to leave our horses because we don't have a horse trailer. But thankfully, there's people that came in and rescued our horses and brought them here to the fairgrounds so for us. Our horses are here and our dogs are here. The couple tells me their home is safe for now, but they'll need to stay another night at the shelter. The Cartwrights tell me they're extremely grateful for all the help they've gotten so far. In Grants Pass, Andreana Shepard, Newswatch 12. Thanks for that excellent report, Andreana. If you're in one of those evacuation areas and you need shelter, you can head to the Josephine County Fairgrounds. A human and animal shelter has been set up by the Red Cross and Josephine County Public Health Department. Newswatch 